Let me take you on a trip overseas. 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 Shawty, I got what you need. What you need. What you need. Let me take you on a trip across the world. What's up? What's up, you guys? Welcome to Lit Lovely Lisa TV, and I'm your host, Lit Lovely Lisa. And I got an amazing show rundown for today, so you guys definitely don't want to tune and tone out to that dial because we got some hot today. I got my boy in the building, special guest Lex Luger, the Backwood Ambassador. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Glad to be here. Appreciate you inviting. Oh my goodness, it's glad to have. I'm glad to have you here. It's been a while. It's been yeah. a while. I've been trying to get you up here for years yeah. to do this interview. So I'm glad you finally made it today. Yes, yes. Jackson, Mississippi, represent in Memphis. Y'all know so. what time it is. Y'all know J Town in the building. But I want to get into who is Lex Luger. Let our viewers know what's going on, Lex. Uh, well, man, you say who is Lex Luger? Who hey, well, is Lex Luger? Well, uh, that's a multitude of things, but uh, I am an entrepreneur, a uh, CEO. Um, I own South State Connected Records as well as SSC Marketing Group. Uh, I'm the creator of uh, It's Lit TV, which is a TV program that plays uh, videos, music videos, a uh, rap show. And also, I'm um, the exec producer of Juke Joint TV, which actually plays Southern Soul, Blues, and, um, and R&B. And I'm also the founder of the Hood Idol Tour, um, along with being the CEO of Hood Idol the Magazine. So, uh, along with owning a few other businesses, but those are my businesses that's in the entertainment business. Okay, okay. You got a lot going on. You wear a lot of hats in the industry. In the entertainment industry, anyway, music entertainment. So you do a whole lot of things, and it's just wonderful to watch. You know, um, you got the Hood Ida tour. Let everybody know how you came up with Hood Ida tour. How did that drive? Um, well, it kind of came from um, me wanting to give independent artists a chance to have a platform. You know, with the Hood Ida tour. Um, you know, people could come network with people from all over as well as try new songs. Um, it's mainly rap oriented. We do have R&B singers. R&B singers really do good on the tour. It's a different audience. And um, the thing um, came from uh, once upon a time I lived a different life and a kid one time called me his idol. You know, he's like, he's like, look at you, my idol, you know, and, and um, it was for the wrong things at that time. So when God blessed me to come out of um, other situations in my life, I took that thing and said, you know what, I'm going to call this the hood idol because my thing is I won't, because being from the hood doesn't necessarily mean that you're from a, a, a terrible area. You know, it's, it's someone who comes from obscure beginnings and overcome that to be right. successful. So I want people who come from those type of places to be someone for others to look up to and therefore be their hood idol, not just idolizing the negativity that most people are around, you know, especially right. that with backgrounds like mine. So that's what the whole hood idol theme is about. I, I dig it. I dig it. That's dope. So, you know, I, I've been around Hood Idol for a long time, you know, doing the different tours and everything. So, you know, a lot of times people just see Hood Idol and they don't know the meaning of where it comes from. So, you know, it's great that you, you know, elaborate on that. So we got a whole different view as to what, you know, Hood Idol Tour is saying for. You also got Hood Idol Magazine. Yes, yes. So with Hood Idol Magazine, it's the same principles. Um, in the magazine, you're going to find individuals who come from obscure beginnings and overcame that to become successful. Mm -hmm. and, and just for the record, you know, success is what a person deems it to be. It doesn't have to be what success is known to the masses because a lot of people relate um, income with success. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with the Hood Item Magazine, of course, we do incorporate um you know celebrities um and rich people you know as yes. it would say but we do incorporate um those who are 
uh, what you what you would call local artists. Although with the internet, no artist is actually local anymore. But mm -hmm. you know, you still say local artists and up and coming artists is what I actually like to use. So we incorporate that. So we have entrepreneurs, we have models, we have indus industry um, mm -hmm. individuals. We do entertainment stories, and we also feature. Um, how can you say? well-known artists if they have something new but maybe not on the jay-z level per se right 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 so now you have it hood idol magazine from the source you did so we're gonna get into the hood idol awards you know um hey the girl is an award winner you know on hood idol awards so i'm gonna give it on to lex luger let y'all let him tell y'all what it's all about yeah well uh first of all congratulations for winning in an award at the second annual uh, yes. hood idol award so um, you won media of the year yes. um so thank you for participating in our hood idol events and you know that's how she won the award um with the award show i basically created it um, to give the artists recognition that don't normally get recognition that has played a part of the tour. So um, this was the second annual back in October 2020. That was the second annual Hood Idol Awards. Mm -hmm. We got the third annual Hood Idol Awards coming up in December. And um, we actually got the first TV production of the awards that's going to be airing here within the next month. We're doing a uh, online watch party um, this Saturday actually. Um, on Facebook first to let people preview it that was part of the Hood Idol Award. So, but right. I created that platform to make sure that the artists get every chance they can to promote themselves, to be in front of other individuals who can, you know, or at least have a chance of helping them excel in their career in some form of fashion. And we, you know, we give out awards to people who either participated in the Hood Idol Tour um, in Hood Idol the magazine or now Hood Idol Radio. Awesome, awesome. And like I said, it's an awesome thing to be a part of. I was a part of, and like I said, it gives the artist a whole new outlook. He do things or whatever that I haven't seen within the industry, you know, helping different artists or whatever. You have a lot of packages that you give away as well. And so even if you don't win what I've noticed or whatever, he still give you a certificate or whatever just for you participating. And so it's a lot that he does or whatever for us going the extra mile with the Hood Idol Tour. So that's awesome. A lot of artists had came back and told me, you know, what a great experience it was. And, you know, that's why I like to get down with great people that's doing things to help the artists in this industry. Yes. And, and one thing you said, too, um, you know, it, it actually is considered and I call it to be a hood eyed experience because that's what I kind of came up there. Because my thing was most people um, that comes from those beginnings, as I said, they look up to entertainers. Right. So, um, so therefore, at the Hood Idol, you would get an interview to be on TV. You would get an interview to be on the radio just for participating. Right. You know, and the certificates is for those who participate that maybe didn't win, but I'm giving them validation to where if they know how to market that, it could help them grow their fan base because that's right. the whole object of this. And I try to give them information that they would need to help, you know, build their career because right. most of the people... Um, most of the time they start, like I gave a lot of people their first interviews on radio, TV, mm -hmm. their first time on stage. Um, and so we try to give them the things and the tools they need to even have a chance at being successful because I believe that most people think they got a chance of being successful that don't, but that's really what you want is the opportunity and chance to be successful, not only in the music industry, but in life. Right. How hard is it for an independent artist in this industry? Now, it depends on the level that they want to accomplish. Now, the ultimate level is really, really hard because there's so many things that the moon, stars, and the sun really have to align to, be, to reach the ultimate goal, which is being one of the biggest artists in the world. But the way that the music is set up now, anybody could make some money off of music without it even being good. You just would have to know the way to market yourself because the music now the the competition is different than what it used to be yeah, it's a lot right. of good music being made and what they have to realize is that 
it's on the work you put in that would produce the results that you want. So you can put in a little work and get lucky and make a little money, but you have to be serious if you want to make real money to where you can take care of your family. But like I right. said, reaching that ultimate goal to answer your question though, now that's that's going to be pretty tough. And you're going to have to have a budget and you're going to have to be able to travel. You're going to have to be seriously dedicated and over a long period of time as well. It's not going to happen overnight, even though some people do and can get lucky. Right. And I'm so thankful that you said that because a lot of artists is going to be looking and they're going to be able to see, you know, what it is that they need to do. And I stress it enough on radio and everything else. It's not enough to just get in the studio and just make a song and say, well, hey, I don't have to put in no work. Now they thinking that that's all you got to do. That's not all you have to do. It's a lot of things that you have to do to be able to market yourself. And, and you have to, like I said, you have to have a budget. You definitely have to have a budget in this industry. Yes. And that's why I tell all my artists, don't quit your day job. Do not quit your day job because that's what it's going to boil down to. Yes. And along with the day job, you know, you really want to have some other form, fashion of hustle. Right. You know, you, and, you know merchandising, other things to do. But you got to make sure to put that money back into the music because you have to understand that once you decide to be an artist, you are the product, you are the business. No business can be successful without some type of investment. And that's, that's whether right. it's them or if somebody else come along and put money into the project. You gotta work as hard as if somebody else put money behind you as even if it's yours. Right. That's, how, that's a mistake I see a lot of artists make. They do. You know, when somebody do choose to invest in them, um, they kind of get lax and don't put in the work because they think that somebody invests in them that they're supposed to handle everything. But if you do it hand in hand, if you got somebody to put money behind you and you put in the work, I mean, success is bound to find you eventually. Yes, I believe that wholeheartedly. You got somebody behind you and investing in you, that makes that should make you go harder. Mm -hmm, yes. Because you don't want them to, you know, have a return on their investment as well. Yes. So, like I said, you know, everybody's important here. So, you definitely have to, you know, get in there and grind. Some artists, don't, don't be afraid to put your feet to the street. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they did at old school. CDs out the trunk, you know, flyers, you know, putting up everywhere, you know, you got to put in some work. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think that you can just, you know, go in the studio and make a song. You don't even have to perform, but that would enhance your career. And that's what these platforms are for, for these artists to get up here and perform. Even if you may not do good the first time, you will see how it's done yeah. and you will become educated and do better. So that's what I tell a lot of artists. So I want to ask you for an artist that's starting out in the game and don't know exactly the how to, what exactly would they need? Because I stress, you know, being signed as an artist and all of that, I want your take on that. Um, well, um, you know, what they would need to, to, you know, what I would suggest, um, you know, once you do get the recording and you choose to do it professionally, um, you're going to want to get professional pictures. That's I, I, I stress to get that first. Um, you really want to have uh, some type of money set aside because you would want to get an EPK for those who maybe not know that's an electronic press kit. Yes. That would have your pictures in it. That would have information about you. That would have your bio. You do want yes. a professional bio um, written in third person. Um, you're going to also really want to tap into other people in the industry that are actually doing things. Right. So you want to subscribe to um, free magazines, websites, and things of that nature. You want to make sure that your social media is about you as an artist. So if you're someone who likes social media, and let's say for instance, you're a person who likes to vent on social media, right. well, you need to have a private account or, or a account that's really for that, that's going to be you as a person. Right. You don't want to be an artist that's been on an artist account because you could turn off potential fans. Yes. You know, because yes. that because that because a lot of artists do that to me because then I hate that. Like I might love their music, but then they show a certain part of their character that makes me say, I don't even want to listen to their music. Don't no deal more. With them, right? So if I feel that way, it's gonna be others who feel that way. Yes. So you wanna make sure that you get artists, social media, and make sure that align. And from that point, hey. Do not listen to too many people in your ear. Take advantage of every platform. Every platform, every platform, regardless of how big or small, has a benefit. 
That's no matter point. what it is. Now, if it's beneficial to you, depend on what level you are, because it doesn't mean that the platform may be beneficial to per se an artist who's maybe got a follower more so established and already know how to perform. Right. It, it might want to try a different platform. But, you know, our platforms are beneficial in their own right. You just oh, have yes. to know how to use it properly. I totally agree. Totally agree with that. But, you know, a lot of artists didn't know that. So I just thank you for clarifying that because I stress it a lot, like I said, within the radio and TV. Because, like I said, people always need different direction and, and you know, the right answers. So I want to make sure we get these answers out there so people would know what's going on but we gonna move along you guys we gonna move along and we're gonna get into his brand ssc yes ssc uh marketing group stands for south state connected and um as i say all my brands have real things behind them so um you know i established ssc in 2002 Mm -hmm. And um, it ended up being South State Connected because the original name, when I went to get it trademarked, it was already trademarked. So I came up with the S-O-U-F because everywhere I went, they'd be like, from the South, you know, and so we said South with an F. Right. So it was unique and nothing at that particular time was trademarked with an S-O-U-F. So um, the state part and connected, my thing was that we're all connected in some form or fashion. But right. if you go back into slavery days, the majority of the slaves were shipped to the South. Mm -hmm. So my logo is the Southern states that really most of the slaves migrated to, to show our connection. Mm -hmm. So I wanted South State connected, to be connected to the Southern states, connected to the world, because we all connected. So uh, my brand has a marketing company, which we do all prints. We print out everything from banners to flyers um, to CDs. Um, my record label is called South State Connected Records um, as well, the same brand, and everything falls under the SSC uh, umbrella. Wow, that's awesome. Like I said, this man right here wear a lot of hats within the industry, and y'all got a rundown of some of them, but you know that ain't it. We still got some more to go. <laughs> he still got some more knowledge to be kicking, so we gonna get to it, but um, I, I got a couple of his shirts from South State Connected. Lit. He yeah. sent them to me. He done glittered them up and, you know, glammed them, fired them for me. I'm going to have to show y'all on my <laughs> pictures. But he definitely glammed them up for me. But, yeah, great clothing line, great brand. Like I said, I just really enjoy working with you and, you know, doing all of these things. Because, like I said, it's so beneficial to what we're doing. It's so beneficial to the artists, even if they don't know it. You know, it's it's beneficial. Yes. Because yes. I know a lot of times or whatever that artists, you know, I guess they downplay a lot of things, even within a flyer. If somebody make you a flyer, promote it to no end. Yes. You know, put it on every platform. If you were nominated for something, make sure you put it on every platform. Let everybody know, hey, I was nominated for this. I was nominated for that. You know, oh, I won an award. I'm award winning. You know, like when I opened my show award-winning lit lovely lisa y'all know what time it is you know i had to get that on in yeah. lex luga let's see what we got going on with this jew joint radio 91.3 right yes, clarksdale yes, out of, out of clarksdale yes um it's a new fm radio show i actually have two different shows on there i got the trafficking hour which comes on six days a week mm -hmm. um um, at night 10 to 12 and then I have the new juke joint radio um, it comes on once a week on the weekends um, from 8 to 10 and basically juke joint radio we playing blues southern soul and R&B so how I came up with that I have juke joint radio and I have juke joint TV which airs on the Roku uh, worldwide as well oh, and okay so the I started doing uh, blues shows and kind of southern soul and and Several artists kept saying to me, you know, uh, Lex, nobody does the stuff for blues like you do for rap. Mm -hmm. And I heard that so many times to where I said, you know what, just let me try. Because most of the stuff, I got a team, shout out to the whole team. You know, I know I'm in the forefront, but it is it is a team uh, behind us. And as I said, our goal is to, you know, touch as many people as we can and help those we can. So with us having a brand and being established and have a following, 
I went ahead and did Juke Joint TV to get those people heard as well. And you know, I mean, and as you said, uh, say something about your awards and stuff like that. Right. Well, I am known as a record breaker. I have over 40 or 50 uh, plaques and, and awards for breaking records. So I, I got my first R&B record for Melanie Thorne this year for I Can't Wait. That's one of the Pussycat Dolls. Yep. And so it made me start thinking about, man, because I, I got so many comments about that. And people was like, isn't that an R&B singer? And I was like, well, mm -hmm. I break all music. I have a gospel plaque as well for uh, Reverend C.L. Franklin. That's Aretha Franklin's dad as well. Uh, Number one, being number one on the billboard one week. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to let people know that it's, it's no box and that the same formula applies as to why I do, why I got my own project as well. Um, not rapping or singing or nothing, co-producing, I'm coaching, you know, basically. Um, mm -hmm. And my first release is actually a gospel rap song. I got Miss Tiffany, which is an award winning um, gospel rapper um, and actress. Um, and um, she was on Empire as well. She played uh, Exhibit's baby mom. And I got um, Gutter the Sip God. He's uh, legally blind out of one eye. And I got Ashley Stewart, all who have came from my Hood Idol tour and produced by uh, me and KJ, 16 Bar Studio recorded, mixed right. and mastered. And so, um, man, we're doing pretty good. When it's high as number 15 on the chart. And I'm glad God blessed me with something like that to where it was stuck in my head. It was stuck in my head to hook in the song. Mm -hmm. And um, I just went ahead and did it and it came out great. It came out great. That's for you guys, y'all wait, it, it has dropped already. I listened yeah. to it. Oh my God, it's lit. Yeah. I, I love it. You and you and Tiffany did y'all thing. I, I love it. It's called Blessings on Blessings, is what yes. it's called. Blessings on Blessings available on all platforms. I actually shoot the video this weekend. So um, so you know everything that that I that I like do. I try to set an example to show people like you can do this if you dedicated and willing to invest in yourself and willing to learn right. and listen. You know, so shout out to all my mentors. I mean, I got I got plenty, especially Kermit the Superstar Maker and Charlie Braxton um, and Ron Carbo. I got to shout you guys out because y'all taught me a lot. Thank you. For those that want to show you love and support and follow everything that you're doing, which he doing a lot of things in the industry, he definitely the person that y'all need to be following in this industry. So give them um, your all your social media platforms and where they can find you sure. to follow what you're doing. Okay, well it's easy because I recommend all artists do this. It's at SSC Lex Luger. That's SSC. L E X L U G A on all platforms. You can type that in anyway. YouTube, Facebook, um, Instagram is probably going to be the easiest, and you'll find me. Um, also, the website is hoodidatour.com. Hoodidatour.com. So, for everyone that's listening right now, what are some of the new things that's coming up that we need to be on the lookout for? Um, be on the lookout for um, the EP that I'm doing. I don't want to say the name of it yet because I, you know I, I got too many people who watch me and kind of do what I do but uh, I got an EP I'm looking for artists working with artists I got the hood idol tour going on 30 cities um, I'm actually looking to bless the artist with the uh, end grand prize is five grand cash and I'm gonna get them an opportunity to sign a record deal, a single record deal. Um, we're gonna put up to $25,000 behind them to see if we can help somebody advance their career. Um, and you know, it's a trial and error. Um, we starting off doing a music review um, at 16 Bar Studio in Jackson, March the 20th. I mean, excuse me, May the 22nd. So that's a that's a couple of the things I got coming up. Uh, some of the stuff I gotta gotta keep on wrap to to I to I solidify the deals. But that's that's the couple of things right now I want people to know about. Thank you again, Lex Luger, the Backwood Ambassador, for coming in and doing that interview with me. But with that being said, we're going to head over to the lit stage. I got a hot artist on the way. You guys definitely going to enjoy the lit stage, everyone. You want to reach the point in life where a conversation become meaningless. Unless it's the money talk, you become deaf until the band call it. Hence, you're gonna have the money walk. That's OG talk. Yeah, I got shooters on a payroll like a Pablo. I say, when I'm on the pain, I ain't tryna talk. If you try 
tryna converse and let that money talk I got killers on the team, they ain't tryna talk Got the racks inside my jeans, that's that money walk That money walk, ayy, hey, money walk To the bank on the corner, I don't care what you think about it, about it That's that money walk, money walk I got stacks of the bread for the Put the racks on your yeah, head, that's that money walk Look, look, I can't say too much because it peel by But if we talk with money, I get really sad Turn this to dunk her. That's the money change things. I ain't scared of change. Went from walking in the rain to walking in the bank. Hey, I got old money, I got new money. Got that walk inside the club. Let me do it. Remember back when I ain't have it, I went popping. I'm sticking to that same story. I ain't got it. I'm trying to stuff like 50 bands inside these robbers. Gotta move the clock first. Got a beam and a silence. I make my money with no team and in silence. I'm money walking in these streets. I so wild. My jeans, that's that money walk, that money walk, ayy, money walk To the bank on the corner, I don't care what you think about it, about it That's that money walk, money walk I got stacks of the bread, fuck yeah. around and put the bricks on, yeah that's I say when I'm on that molly, I be, I be going dumb Don't give a f*** about what you think, cause people going dumb yeah. Let my money walk on the new, and I know it's done Since I'm young and I been by stacking paper, blowing guns R.I.P. Molly, why they had to take a real nigga Up is murder, that's just how that's we come. You on the bean, I'm on that molly, so we having fun. Stuff like the Navy, say I'm crazy, I'm my daddy's son. I'll make a call and you can roll out to the saddest song. I say, when I'm on the bean, I ain't tryna talk. If you tryna converse, let let that money talk. I got killers on the team, they ain't tryna talk. Got the racks inside my jeans, that's that money walk. That money walk, ayy, money walk. To the bank on the corner, I don't care what you think about it, about it, that's that money walk, money walk. Backwood ambassador. Let the money talk. You ain't gotta say much. <laughs>